Hello friends, this is Alexei again. I'm sure that everyone is getting prepared for PCIM Europe. This year's show is promised to be fantastic with many product and technology updates. And for now, let's check what is new in power semiconductors industry. Toshiba Electronics Europe has added 4N channel Super Junction 650V power MOSFET devices to its portfolio. The new devices build upon the market success of the current devices and will primarily be used in applications like industrial and lighting power supply and other applications where ultimate efficiency at small form factor is a requirement. All four of the new devices offer a drain source voltage of 650V with a drain current capability up to 30 amps. EPC announced the production release of the EPC 2050, a 350-volt gallium nitride transistor. Its tiny size enables power solutions that occupy 10 times less area than comparable silicon solutions. Applications benefiting from the fast switching speed and tiny size of the EPC 2050 include DC-DC conversion, motor control for medical motors, DC-AC inverters, Multi-level converters such as Tatum Pole PFC and DC-DC solutions converting 400V input to 12, 20 or 48V outputs. ASM International officially unveiled its state-of-the-art Singapore manufacturing facility and operations hub and announced the groundbreaking of a second manufacturing floor at the site. The opening ceremony was attended by Singapore Minister for Manpower and Second Minister for Trade and Industry and by representatives of JTC Corporation and of the Singapore Economic Development Board. ASM Singapore expansion comes amidst recent global chip shortages and will enable ASM to capitalize on surging demand brought on by accelerated digitalization trends. The design of the facility allows for a more efficient manufacturing flow and of higher level of flexibility, which has been particularly beneficial to cope with the challenges of the industry supply chain constraints recently. Hunter Motor Group has honored Infineon Technologies as a partner of the year 2021, with a special award of supply competence. The top global automaker recognized Infineon's efforts to stabilize uncertain supply chains despite the challenges posed by COVID-19 and the global semiconductor shortage. In particular, Infineon was honored for its excellent risk management working with Hunter Motor Group. Infineon Korea and Infineon headquarters have provided flexible and strategic cooperation to manage the difficult situation in the market. The Shenzhen Stock Exchange released an announcement stating that it had suspended the IPO review of BYD Semiconductor, as the required financial information and its application document had expired and needs to be updated. BYD Semiconductor officially responded that the suspension of the company's listing review is temporary and has had no bad impact for the company's listing plan. At present, the company is trying to submit an updated financial plan to the stock exchange to resume its listing review. Gallium nitride devices have a variety of positive properties and are suitable as a replacement for silicon switches in certain applications. Experts will provide deeper insights in this Power and Beyond web conference. High-volume applications like electric vehicles demand outstanding power density, low losses and high switching frequency. Gallium nitride devices are a suitable answer for these requests, featuring reduced switching losses, yielding a higher efficiency at higher frequency operation. Thus, gallium nitride has the potential to substitute silicon MOSFETs in a 650V range due to low conduction and significantly low switching losses. This web conference offers an excellent overview of gallium nitride technology with all its advantages, especially for high-volume markets. Since the high-volume Tesla Model 3 adopted silicon carbide devices in 2017, silicon carbide technology, cost supply chain and applications have continued to evolve. Yet there is a concern about silicon carbide wafer supply pushing multiple players to expand their capacity. Nevertheless, major silicon carbide material players are moving to the device level. That's because there is now strong traction for silicon carbide discrete devices and increasingly modules in end systems in industrial, automotive and energy applications. In this webcast, your development will present the latest analysis of this market size, ecosystem and technology and cost evolution. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for staying with me. As usual, more Power Semiconductors market news coming next week. Meanwhile, visit my blog for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.